So I'm going to show you how I make uh, I call New Country Wine. Uh, this is the brewed uh, mixture. But I start out with water and I've aired this off for one day to get the chlorine off of it so it doesn't inhibit the fermentation. And then next I'm going to put in some berries and these are what I'm going to call backyard berries. They're primarily blackberries and raspberries with some aronia uh, that I have from last year uh, that I dried from last year. So mixture of different berries and then I'm going to add some lemon juice and this is just going to basically bring the pH of the water down just a little to favor the yeast that's, or the microbes that are already on the berries uh, to do the to be the main fermenting agent. Then I'll add about a half a cup of sugar and that will feed the microbes. The next thing I'm going to add is from that bottle from a previous batch. Again, just add some kind of call back slop. Uh, get some microbes from a previous batch. There are microbes on the berries, but that'll help to balance microbes that have been in past batches. And then the last thing I'll do is take, this is a, an old uh, plastic lid, it's actually from mayonnaise, and I'll put that on top and basically what that does is reduces the surface to air contact. So it decreases the amount of mold that might accumulate over the fermentation process. Give that a little stir. Uh, and then I'll also stir that every, about twice a day, over the next couple of days, depending on how long it takes to ferment. And I just cover it with the flip top and that keeps out any um, bugs that might be around, flies. Uh, it also, uh, I, I'm not going to lock it so that it, there can be air exchange if there's some uh, release from the fermentation. I'm not going to hold that in. I want it to, to start bubbling. And then I'll just leave it like that uh, on the counter. I'll stir it, like I say, twice a day. And I would expect that in the next couple of days the water will start to take on the the color of the berries, it'll start to get a little um, purple, uh, purple pink, and um, and it'll start to fizz. And uh, each day, as when I stir it, I'll take a little taste. And like I say, depending on the temperature, three four uh, days up to a week uh, to get it to the point I want, and then I'll put it in the flip top bottles.